name is Robin Smith, and I'm chairman of the Board of Directors of Citizens for a Healthy Community. I really want to thank you for coming to our forum today. If you want to understand the threats that oil and gas present our community, you've come to the right place. We've assembled some of the top speakers from around the country to talk to us today. Some of the information you'll hear won't be pleasant. The impacts of oil and gas development on a community can be devastating. Please don't allow this information to discourage you. To the contrary, the purpose of this forum is to empower you with the knowledge you can use in our fight to protect our community. While reading the newspaper a few days after the public hearing we held here last January, I was surprised to learn that Citizens for a Healthy Community was quickly formed to fight the proposed 30,000 acre oil and gas lease sale. I was surprised to read this because the truth of it is, a small group of people began meeting regularly back in November of 2009. We quickly realized that unlike any other industry that could move into the valley, oil and gas was the only industry whose impacts would overwhelm and destroy the social, cultural, and economic values of our community, as well as poison our air, contaminate our water, destroy our health, and reduce our property values. By January 2010, we had drafted a mission statement, bylaws, strategic plan, and budget, picked a name, created a logo, and incorporated as a nonprofit organization in the state of Colorado. In May of 2010, we filed our first protest of a proposed BLM lease sale, arguing that BLM was required to prepare an environmental assessment, or EA as we call it, prior to leasing the proposed parcels. On the day of the lease sale, BLM announced that they would prepare an EA. Two years later, those, those, that EA has not been prepared and those leases have not been issued, our first tentative victory. Citizens for a Healthy Community has been fighting to protect Delta County from oil and gas development ever since. And I'd like to introduce our board of directors to you at this time. So if you will come forward, please. They are Brad Burrett, Okay, Daniel Feldman, please wave. I can't see you over there. I don't know if you're doing it. <laughs> Ashley Crest, Robin Morrison, Kim Schultz, and one other, Mitch Gersten, who unfortunately had to work in Grand Junction today, so is unable to make it. This small group of people have volunteered countless hours and made a tremendous personal and financial sacrifice on behalf of the community to try to protect this community from oil and gas. Citizens for a Healthy Community's mission is to protect people and their environment from irresponsible oil and gas drilling in Delta County. To accomplish this, we will vigorously oppose all oil and gas development until the exemptions to environmental laws currently provided to the industry are eliminated. We'll continue to oppose oil and gas as long as injecting toxic, hazardous, or carcinogenic fluids into the ground is prohibited. Until releasing dangerous levels of contaminants into the air is prohibited. And private property rights are protected by prohibiting oil and gas development on private property without the written permission of the, pri the pro private property owner. As you're all aware, we're currently in the middle of the second public comment period on BLM's 30,000 acre oil and gas lease proposal. In the first comment period, 98% of the 3,000 people submitting comments did not support the oil and gas lease sale. The recently released EA states, and I quote, BLM carefully considered the substantive comments received. What do you suppose the result was of BLM's careful consideration of your request to withdraw all these proposed leases? Not a single acre was removed from the proposed lease sale as a result of comments made by the citizens of the North Fork. Despite the thoughtful, well-researched letters that all of you in this room submitted, BLM writes in the EA that, quote, the act of leasing produces no impacts. I kid you not, 
Not even the Three Stooges could come up with a line that funny. That's like saying that jumping off a 10-story building will produce no impacts. Taken literally, I guess that's true. There's no impact to jumping. It's the landing that'll kill you. But just as surely as the impacts of hitting the ground follows jumping off a building, the negative impacts of drilling and fracking follow leasing. The point is, once you've jumped, it's too late to worry about the landing. Despite the unprecedented level of civic involvement and opposition to this proposal, BLM is marching forward with this lease sale. From all outward appearances, BLM seems to be unfazed by the tremendous public opposition this proposal has created. But we believe that BLM is feeling the pressure, and if we continue the, applying the pressure, we will force BLM to withdraw these leases. On your chair, I want to make sure each of you sees, you probably already looked at it, there's a, a sample letter containing suggestions of what to write in your BLM letter, as well as the addresses of where to send uh, your letter to. The public comment period for the 30,000 acre lease sale ends on April 6th, this coming Friday. So please, I want to make sure that you make writing a letter your top priority in the next 48 hours. It needs to be mailed by Monday. I also want to make sure you looked at the other piece of paper that you had on your chair. BLM just uh, came out with another environmental assessment on a second issue that we had before us, and that is the Bull Mountain Unit uh, Plan of Development. And in this proposal, BLM has proposed to, um, to allow for 146 wells on 60 well pads up in the Muddy Creek area northwest of the reservoir to be drilled upon. So, unfortunately, I need to ask you to write two different letters. This letter is extremely critical. We know that there's gas up, along, up near the reservoir. We know that this is where they want to drill. This is a very important issue. This is perhaps the top issue before us, not just this 30,000 acres, but this one. I need to ask you to write a second letter to BLM on this issue. And again, the sample letters here with the addresses of where to write. In case you forget, the, the dates of the comment period are, are on the wall up in front, so just make sure you get those letters in. And I don't think the Bull Mountain unit has the date on it, so you might want to write that down, that the comment period expires on the 24th of April. Yes, and please make sure you tell all your friends and neighbors to write a letter also. We need to get another 3,000 letters to BLM in both of these comment periods. Thanks to the generous contributions of our members, we've been able to hire a full-time director who just started to, week, to work this week in our new office that we opened in Paonia. So I would like for you to help me welcome our Citizens for Healthy Communities new director, Jim Ramey. Thank you, everybody. Um, it's truly an honor to be here and to serve as CHC's first director. Um, and I want, I want to thank you all for being here today. And thank you all for all the work you've done to fight this lease sale and to try to get these uh, 22 parcels and 30,000 acres removed. I know we're going to win this fight, and I'm so excited to be here to help out.